Hey there everybody, my name is Gadimar, welcome back for another video of Franchise Hockey Manager 6. I'm going to try something out real quick, uh, like this, as you can see, I've tried before, I, I had a message uh, one or two videos ago, right, uh, about the fact that uh, why am I not using, um, why basically am I not using the uh, full screen on, well I can't, the game doesn't, it doesn't work that way, you, you don't have full screen on the game, so you gotta play it like that way, uh, that's as... As far as I can put it, uh, basically, so that's all I can do, really. And uh, if I try to put it full screen, that's what it does. It doesn't really help, boys, so I'm just going to do that like that because it annoys me a little bit. So we're just going to do that. We do have uh, a lot of things going on for today. Uh, we are going to start, obviously, we are in the preseason of our third year. So we're going to start the third year. We've got a brand new team in the Quebec Bulldogs. It's going to be interesting to see how they fare. Uh, probably are not going to fare too good. Um, we already have all of our players. Last uh, video we did uh, went ahead and uh, equipped all of our free agency and everything. Uh, coach already had all everything done. So uh, Malone, Malone, Pitt, uh, you already know, Babe Die. All right, uh, Belanket, Irvin, Broadbent, Arbor, Dunderdell, Bill Cook. Uh, we've got Taylor, Cameron. Claygorn, uh, Cobo, and uh, Kutsu and Dutton, and uh, Ainsworth and Vizina are going to share the goaltender situation, the goaltending. So it's going to be interesting to see how we go. Uh, I still remember, uh, did we win the cup? Yeah, I think we won. Yeah, yeah. Last year we won the cup. So we're coming off as the Stanley Cup champions. Let's see if we cannot win another one uh, this year round. I don't remember if I upgraded my team or whatever, but. Uh, uh, we'll see how this goes. We do have a new player, though, in the minors, which was Aurel Joliat. Our first ever draft, right? And we drafted Aurel Joliat, that first round pick. And um, we'll just see, I guess, how it goes, really. We'll just see how it goes. So, uh, we don't have anything else going on. We can start the uh, season up. I'm going to try. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go uh, open night right now. Uh, I want to try and do as many seasons as possible. So during the off season, when I have to deal with all these little contract situation and everything, uh, I'm going to try to transition as much as possible so we can really get on with these seasons. These seasons can go really quick, boys. You, I really want to go as far as possible during the years and stuff. Uh, with this franchise and with this game in total. So I want to really go as far as possible. We'll try at least. Until 21, yeah, because I did get re-signed. I had a one-year deal with the Montreal Canadiens. I got uh, re-signed. I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to stay with them because I want to uh, keep them going. I mean, I won the cup after I got re-signed. So let's go. We got until t uh, t uh, 1921 to do something. So uh, here we go. So we're going to continue right here. We're not quite there yet. We're still in the preseason. Warning, a bunch of players in the waivers, as you can see. All these little players that are in the minors. That's fine. Keep them there. There we go. Opening night, please. There we go. Finally, opening night, boys. So NHL season preview. Perfect. I do want to do something really quick, uh, though. I think, uh, where is it at? I think it's over there, yeah. So I'm going to edit that out. I don't want everything. I don't want game performances, all this shit. I don't need to see that. Contracts, sure. Transactions, sure. And uh, general, nope. Uh, we got Montreal. So Montreal, same thing. All right, same thing for them. Uh, just that. And for the Stanley Cup, I do want the awards, though. I don't want to see the awards. That's one thing. All right, good. So it, it's just that it doesn't bother us as much. So within two days, it's going to be the play, uh, the, the thing. Are we good here? Tomorrow. All right, good. So the season is about to start. Third season. Uh, Ottawa won their first game against Toronto, it looks like. Let's see. We're starting off the f uh, third season against, uh, I guess, the Quebec Bulldogs. Let's see how this season is going to go, boys. So first game against Egg Fowler. A good, de 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 decent goaltender. They've got Barney Stanley, a good player too. But uh, we got a stud team. We got a championship, uh, Stanley Cup championship team right there. So here we go. Man, they already were playing uh, Ainsworth at the second game. All right. 
uh, uh, towards the years, because we have Ensworth, which is a big time prospect, he's coming up, he's definitely going to grow fast. Uh, we might see a little bit of a change over the years. It might be Ainsworth instead of Vezina and stuff like that. They might really, literally be um, pr uh, protecting or uh, sharing their, the net uh, over the years, boys, as it comes by. So we'll just have to see really quick. So we got a lot right now. As you can see, Ainsworth is already uh, doing a lot right now. Neighbor, Frank Neighbor decided to uh, resign with the Ottawa Senators. Interesting. He's a really good player, as you could see. Five, four and a half stars. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot of stars. All right, let's continue, boys. We're almost at the ten mark, at the ten go, uh, ten uh, games mark. Yeah, they're kind of, they're kind of uh, really sharing the net right now. They're kind of doing the same. Yeah, you can see Ainsworth one game, the other game it's it's Vizina. We're already at the trade deadline too. We got a trade going on. Uh, Ari Meeking going to. Uh, Quebec in order uh, in exchange for Jimmy Herberts. I feel like uh, Quebec got the better end of that one, but uh, we'll see how it goes eventually. So after 10 games, I don't remember. How many games do we have? Uh, let me see. Uh, rules. Where is the rules at for the team, uh, for the league? So league, 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 24 games this year. So it's it's back to normal, basically, because we've got four teams again. Let's see the stats of our players. The best scorer right now, after 10 games, is Frank Nyber. Uh, just re-signed with the team, too. And uh, it's 13 goals for him. New Zealand alone, not far behind. 8 goals in 10 games played. Not too uh, shabby, boys. And uh, they're not that far away. Nyber is just having a fantastic year. But these two players, Malone and Lalonde, as always, are doing fantastic. 19 points each. You have uh, McKay, too, which is a brand new player for us. He was playing for the Canadian t uh, League last year, and we uh, put him up. We got him from free agency. So there we go, boys. 14 points for him right now. Babe Die, fantastic for him. I mean, it's his second year. It's a, a big time rookie, right? So it's his second year. He's doing fantastic for us. So we got to continue on that path. And Clint Benedict with the most uh, wins right now six wins. He does have 10 games played. Yeah, they're definitely sharing the goal, as you can see. They're, that's because they both have like three and a half stars right now. So they're both the same uh, talent, which is crazy. So that's why they're sharing right now. They're, they're both uh, starting goaltenders. Even though Ainsworth is like a better goaltender, his mental is all the way up there at 18 right now. That's that's crazy. All right, let's go. I don't care which goalie uh, goals the most as long as we win games. I don't want the, as long as... Makes me win games, right? Uh, we do have another trade. Quebec is making moves, man. Half Skinner is going to Quebec now. All right. Yeah, they're making moves big time. Let's go, boys. Toronto. St. Pat's now. Brand new name for the team. Uh, Holmes. App Holmes decide to... Uh, uh, five stars. Look at that goaltender. Uh, decide to re-sign with the team. Interesting. All right, so here we are after 20 games bo played, boys. I went ahead and skipped a little bit there uh, just to make it a bit quicker. So 20 games played right now. We are the best team of the league by far. Uh, only four uh, losses in regulation, which is really good. 30 points. Uh, I, I kind of figured that uh, Quebec, even though they're making a lot of a uh, couple of trades, they're still a rebuilding team. I mean, they're they're brand new. And they're not going to last too long. I think it's the only year they're going to last. Or one or two years they're going to last. They're not going to last too long in the, uh, in the historical league, boys. So I don't know uh, if they're going to be able to do too much here. Uh, although they do have the best score of the league, though. Look at this. Barney Stanley with 20 goals in 20 games played. Uh, goals per game. That's crazy. And New Zealand on with 18 goals. We've got Nyber with uh, 37 points. Uh, Taylor, look at this. Cyclone Taylor with the most assists. That's good. Lalonde is in there. That's perfect. He's having, uh, I think he's definitely having a better season than last year, but not as good as the first season he had. First season is going to be hard to beat for everyone, really. Uh, those stats were off the roof. Uh, there's definitely not going to be, well, let me see real quick. Is there going to be... What's... um? Let's say uh, leaderboards. So the records is 29 goals. 62 points is not going to get beat. 
but 36 and 29 that might be beat um, this year they have a chance and 21 uh, wins Hap owns uh, the, it's got a 21 wins in the season so let's go take a look really quick for the goalies uh, 13 yeah I don't think that's gonna be beat either is then no, it's not gonna get beat so the goalie situation is still gonna be the same uh, Viznas do has does have uh, nine wins all right interesting boy so we're getting in there let's continue simulation everything's going fine we don't have a single suspension Suspensions are pretty quiet right now. Players are uh, keeping themselves uh, in line, really. And since I've turned down the injuries, suspensions are the only way uh, for a player to miss uh, games. So if there's no suspensions for any team, well, everybody's playing healthy, basically. So during the entire season. Yeah, we're winning all of our games right now. Oh, so we're in the playoffs right now. Yeah. Okay. So 24 games played. That was pretty much it. I'm going to save. So we finished up all the way there. We're finished. We're going to face off against the Senators, the Ottawa Senators. Toronto did not make the playoffs. So did not uh, the Quebec Bulldogs. Obviously, it's their first year. They were kind of trash. Let me see real quick the stats. Where who did finish first? Actually, it's Lalon. So New Zealand finished first for the goals. 21 goals and 24 games played. Pretty good, boys. Pretty good. Uh, it's it was on par. The same thing as Barney Stanley, but they chose Lalonde to be first, so he's gonna have uh, the Rocket uh, Richard uh, tro uh, Trophy. Interesting. We've got uh, Nyber, who finished uh, best player of the league at 42 points. Lalonde for uh, Lalonde and Malone both 41 points each. Perfect. That's awesome. And uh, Denini. Uh, 40 points as well. So that's uh, really good. Really good for them. Barney Stanley, a good player. And all this shit. And Taylor, I mean, Taylor is doing more points than games, boys. He's a defenseman. That's crazy. But he's getting in there. He's 35 years of age or something like that. Uh, Clint Benedict with the most wins this year with uh, 15 wins. This is not that far behind at 13 wins. But he did have to... Unlike uh, Benedict, who played all of his game, all of the, all of the game for his team, Vizina had to share the net a lot, uh, often with uh, Ensworth. Eight times he had to share the net, so that kind of hurts his stats a little bit, but uh, it's all fine. I'm fine with that. History we're in now. Look at this. So this is the stats right now. The best players of, the, uh, of all time right now. Lalonde, of course. Uh, Joe Malone already in 100 points, man. We're already in there. That's kind of crazy. It's pretty good. Okay, so I think we're good here. We can start the playoffs. Let's go ahead and do it, boys. So a win for us. Oh, I think it's the win the team. It's two games, right? It's, so it's going to be two games, and it's the, the team that's going to score the most goals during those two games that's going to win. So we won the first one, so four to three. Oh, are we? Uh, did we just beat them easily? We will be participating in the tournament. Okay. So I guess we just beat them. That was a one-shot deal. Uh, that was just a one-shot deal, I guess. Okay. That was pretty easy. So it was just one game. I guess it's against the aristocrats of Victoria that uh, we're going to have to uh, do that. So I think this is it right there. So two games and we got to score the most as most goal, uh, many goals as possible right here. So interesting. Let's see. Can we score more, more goals than them? I'm pretty sure we can. Definitely. We just won the first game 12 to nothing. Well, we won the cup. <laughs> we already won the cup. Forget about it, boys. 12 to nothing. Holy shit. That's a massacre. What the fuck are the Victoria Aristocrats doing against us? They can't do shit. Oh, they're, they're useless. They're, it's pointless for them to resist. 12 goals again. Once again, 12 goals. They did manage to get 4 goals on us, but... It's over. We defeated them big time. So we got the cup, boys. That's it. The cups, uh, the cups is ours. I am going to go see in the upcoming free agents. So all these guys. Uh, the, uh, every time, I, every year I'm going to do is uh, after the season is done, I'm going to take a look at the players that are upcoming free agents. So they're going to, they haven't been re-signed yet by their team. The players are at 25 years of age or more. I'm going to make them as free agents since the teams hasn't resigned them yet. So it makes for a little bit more of a spicy thing 
for the uh, for the upcoming free agency. Other teams can get the chance to get these players. So uh, Boucher, you're staying in because you're uh, below 25. But Claygorn, Keats, and Gerard are going into the free agency, boys. Uh, it looks like Ottawa Senators are going to be a make mis uh, they made a big mistake uh, waiting for to sign these three guys as the they're all three of them are three stars that's crazy all right so as you can see obviously boys right here uh, this was the, there was no official thing though they, they didn't tell us that we won the cup awards I guess I gotta go into awards really quick though maybe it's because of that so let me see Stanley Cup Maybe accomplishments, is that it? Or general? I'm going to just do general, I guess. Maybe that's why they didn't show it to me. But uh, we did win the cup. As you can see in history, we are uh, two times Stanley Cup champions in a row now. So already you can see a big success from my part. I mean, I, I already, I, I had the players, the base of players already. But I mean, I, I still did a pretty good job in my opinion. I mean, I get, I gave them two uh two Stanley Cups wins in the first three years of the uh of the league's history so Brandon Appleby and our head coach Sean is uh I'm actually gonna reject a Sean I mean he's he's a good coach he's all right all right but I feel like I can get a better coach than him so I'm gonna reject and uh for Braden Appleby I don't know uh, where is he at? So what does he do? Above average. And we got a lot of points this time around uh, to spend just because of the fact that we won the cup. So a lot of points available. Uh, it gave me like 10 points so or 9 points I should say. So that's really good for us. Uh, Self-preservation. I don't really uh, care too much about that one. I still, I definitely want the tactics and in-game tactics to go up there. Even though I'm not a head coach. Uh, if I need to be a net coach, that's gonna definitely gonna come in handy. So, uh, but I do want to also get that. So, coaching prospects up to ten, coaching forwards up to ten, and coaching defense is gonna be at eight. So at least players are gonna be a little bit better uh, when I'm on, I'm in there. So, there we go. We're about to go into the 1st of July, so you already know what that means. George Kennedy, all right, good. Historical notes, let's look at our uh, brand new team. So fourth year, what's going to happen? Teams, the Quebec uh, Bulldogs uh, have relocated to Hamilton and changed their names to the Hamilton Tigers. So uh, switcheroo, it's, the, it's now the Hamilton Tigers. Uh, no draft changes, nothing aside from that. It's just a quick change from two teams, from so one city to the other. Uh, so we got Cle Queen Cle King Cle Clincy, Eddie Shore, Neil Stewart, which is a really good player. King Clincy as well. Uh, Oli Smith and Teeny Thompson, boys, coming in uh, as the legendary players are coming in uh, almost. So... Let's see what we got to do here. We got a bunch of things as always. I got to figure all that thing out, all those things out. I've got a bunch of players probably got I got to sign. Free agents, I'm going to show it to you guys, but the players I got to resign myself. I'll just deal with it uh, on my own. All right, so here's the situation we've got, boys. Uh, I went ahead and resigned everybody. They they haven't resigned yet, but I gave them uh, all of a contract offer except for Claygorn. Uh, Sprig Leghorn, we're gonna wait. I want to see uh, what we have in the free agency since he's only a two and a half star. Uh, definitely, maybe there probably might be a uh, LFD available for us. So uh, let's just take a look in free agency. If there's no LFDs available for us or anything, there's not. There's only these three players. We do have probably a couple of prospects available. Not really, though. Yeah. All these players, there's not a big time player or big time prospect that would be available or anything. So, all right, I am going to resign uh, Claygorn too, though. Uh, then we're going to resign everyone. He wants a two, I'm going to give him a two year deal only. There we go. At that amount of money, my guy. There we go. Two, uh, two year deal. And that's perfect. All right, so that, there we go. Got every, we're going to have everybody resigned. We just skip the day right there. That was pretty easy, pretty quick, uh, way quicker than a lot of previous times. So there we go. Everybody signs back. Perfect. Uh, am I still waiting for some players here? Nope. Everybody just signed back. Uh, Claygorn, Odie Claygorn went uh, to Ottawa. So he went back to Ottawa. 
and uh, so did Duke Keith. So they both went back to Ottawa. So they got him back, but uh, they lost Gerardo over to Hamilton. Uh, that's unfortunate for them, but that that's gonna happen. So I have every single player I need. I've got all the, the players I need. Uh, they're all re-signed, and on the minors, as you can see, uh, everybody's re-signed as well. I've got all the backups I can, uh, I need. So we're all good here. Uh, Joliat is a one star now, so he did grow. Definitely he grew. He's a one star. Uh, Graham still a one star, 25 years of age. He could grow, but he only has a potential one star, so he can't grow that much. Unless he really has a fantastic year, then his potential can go up, and then afterwards he can go up. But his potential needs to be higher than his actual uh, abilities in order for him to still grow. So, Joliat is growing though, on the other hand. And this is, look, I'm looking for him to be a good player. He got 17 points in 19 games played for his first season. So, he got a, a really good first season. Uh, I think we're good. We don't have anything else to do. So, we're going to jump... Uh, over here into the next day and we're gonna go ahead and do the draft pick boys so draft lottery this year oh we got a lot of players oh we got some big time players we got the third and fourth uh, pick for the first round here's the thing this is gonna be rough third and fourth is just short of Ari Morans I want Ari Morans boys I need him Morans is like the first ever legend to have his name on a roof, an arena, of an arena. I need him on my team. It's important. Uh, he lives and dies for Montreal. I, I need him. But uh, Toronto's going to get him for sure. Either Toronto or, uh, or, ti or the Tigers are going to get Eddie Shore or Morans. Uh, Eddie Shore, I don't care if any of these two teams get him. But I want Morans. But for Morans, boys, I would have to give up a lot. We'll have to give up uh, one of my draft picks, probably a player or something. I'm kind of scared, boys. I don't want to do anything stupid with that shit. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I need Morans, though. I mean, I could still get these two players. Neil Stewart and Connell are both good players, but it's not. They're not our Morans or they're not Eddie Shore. It's not the same thing. Uh, I got to do something here. I got to do something. I got to make a move. Morans is just too important for me to skip on him. I got two draft picks. I can uh, I can get rid of one of them. Let me just uh, really quick. So we're gonna make a trade offer uh, to Hamilton, to Hamilton because uh, they're the ones who have the first overall draft pick. All right, so that would put us at this. I'm gonna have to give him uh, this then a third round pick. I'm gonna have to give him a first and a third. For the for for their first, all right. So a quick exchange, really. There we go. So quick exchange like that, and we can go to the uh, draft pick. And now, we basically traded their our third for their first, and they got a third from la next year too. So, all right, I had to do it, boys. Uh, it might be cheesy, but I want to do it. I want Ari Morans on my team. Uh, sure would be great, but I want Ari Morans. So. Morans, welcome to Montreal. There we go. Just like real life, we uh, we made sure we made everything possible in order to make sure that uh, Morans was on our team. So now they can uh, Toronto can pick up uh, Eddie Shore if they want. That's uh, fine by me. Pick uh, until human. So they picked up Eddie Shore, of course. Uh, Alec Connell going to uh, the Tigers. I feel bad for the uh, for Hamilton because they did get instead of getting a big time player like Morans or Shore, they got a better, a lesser player like Connell. Still a good player, but not a, a franchise player. But it is what it is. I am gonna take obviously Neil Stewart. All right. So there we go, boys. So we got Neil Stewart right there. We got to uh, go into the next one. All the way to 16. We didn't have any other draft. I guess I'm going to pick up uh, McKinnon. There we go. So there we go, boys. We got two great players. Uh, two centers. A franchise player uh, in Morans and an elite or I'd say a top six or uh, something like that uh, player in, uh, I guess, Neil Stewart. So we're going to go ahead and see right here. Uh, McKinnon. 
not really that good of a player so we're not gonna assign him or anything but i'm definitely gonna assign these two guys they're both so they're technically they could play in the league but they're not ready yet but they're definitely playing for the ahl so uh let me see real quick so this guy obviously contract extends uh, the budget all right so i don't have enough budget to sign these guys but uh, i don't need budget i'm play. i'm giving them the minor deal right blue chip prospect what's that uh what's the difference between a prospect and a blue chip prospect i don't know i guess i'm i'm just gonna give him that oh i can't i don't have enough money all right whatever we'll let them in the minors then they're not ready anyways i don't have enough money to uh sign them so i'll just wait it out i'll just wait it out uh, they're just gonna stay as my rights boys i signed them uh, i'm gonna sign them uh next year or something like that when i have i'm gonna have enough money so joliat is uh getting well fast good uh, I do want to see. So let's go into September. There we go. September. Uh, first thing I want to see right here. So who's my assistants? McKay is my assist guy. Okay. So let me see real quick. So my my captain obviously is Lalonde. Uh, yeah. I would be fine with that. So it's either would be Malone or McKay as my uh, assist. I'm going to stay with McKay because he's definitely he's younger. So that's fine. Our best D-man would be Cameron, though, not Taylor. So, Cameron, you're going to be the one to uh, get the assist right there. There I go. The rest is fine. There we go, boys. The rest is fine. So, let's just go ahead and do our thing right here. There we go. Uh, create lines. Perfect. And I set, set up roles. I don't know why it's it's like that, though. Oh, do I... Um, oh, that's right. I'm the coach right now. I forgot. I need to uh, set up a coach, boys. I need to set up a coach because I'm the coach as of now. Uh, maybe maybe Lester Patrick. Is he a good coach? He's definitely a good coach. Lester Patrick could be a great coach for us. I'm going to... All right. So what are we going to do? I'm going to check up if we don't have a good coach right here. A good available coach. So we're going to uh, see that right now. Scouting. Not that. Uh, it's. I think it's missed skills. I think I found my guy, boys. Bo uh, Boyd Farger. A, a weird name, but uh, relatively unknown. So that means he basically has never done anything uh, in the league is or anything on hockey. But he's really good. He's got some good, decent stats, as you can see. Uh, tactics is all the way up there at maximum. In-game tactics is pretty good. Uh, goal. The only thing I see that will be a problem is uh, coaching uh, goalies. The rest is average and above average. So I'm thinking he, he would be a really good coach. I'm going to hire him for uh, three years. The next three years, I'm going to test him out. We're, he's going to be our coach, boys. So welcome to Montreal, uh, Farger. Let's see what you can do for our team right here. So we got our coach. I uh, So this is his tactics right here that he's using. We're going to let him do his own tactics because it seems like he knows what he's doing. Uh, lineups obviously AI set up the lineups AI create lines or actually you don't need to oh does he, he do, does that himself all right whatever I, I guess that puts him like that oh yeah you don't need to yeah I guess so interesting so that's already done uh, is that really how he wants his lineups all right I'm interested so he's still gonna play babe die on the second line but he's playing him with Lalonde, uh, our captain, and uh, George A. Now, do they have... Does Lalonde have anything with Babe Die at all? Fair. All right. It's not going to be too good. But we do have McKay right here. He's going to be playing on the first line with uh, Pitt and Malone. Interesting. So they're breaking up Malone, Pitt, and Lalonde. Which, I don't know if that's a good idea. They were doing great together. But you never know. Maybe the prospect Babe Die can do something with Lalonde. Uh, Bellinket, Irvin, Broadbent, Arbor, Dunderdell, and Cook. That's basically the same thing every time. So that doesn't change at all. Uh, Taylor with Cameron, Split, uh, Craighorn, or Craighorn, I should say, with Corbo. Kutsu with Dutton. So not too much changes here. Uh, for the most part, it's all the same. Uh, Cook is getting in there too. I mean, Bill Cook and Babe Dye are basically the same, right? 
the same type of prospect except build die the die has a little bit more potential well it's definitely going to grow a little bit more i mean it's like comparing ovechkin with crosby that's what the difference is with the uh, points and everything so there it is uh pitt is still playing on the third line on the first line though i'm so happy about that so coaches having confidence on these guys i'm letting this do i'm gonna let the coach do his thing uh we'll see how he handles all of this uh it's gonna be interesting that uh, definitely for sure we did get two standing cups in a row with the other coach but i felt like he didn't have too many good stats compared to any other coach i, I could probably get so there we go right here let's just skip forward boys right here all right, so we're coming in to the uh, the preseason. I'm going to save and we're going to end it right here. Uh, so this is what I was talking to you guys about. Um, the videos, this went a, a lot quicker. Our last video, it took me about an hour to uh, over an hour, more than that, to actually figure out how to do free agency and everything. This time around, it went pretty quick for me. So it might be some years where it takes a longer or I don't know. But uh, I'm definitely going to try to make it as fast as possible coming to the free agency. I want to show you the draft. I want to show you the uh, free agency. But the, the like the re-sign phase, I don't need to show you guys that. That's kind of boring. I don't need to show you any of that. And uh, for the rest, I mean, it's all good. So there was all... I wasted a bit of time trying to figure out how to uh, where or find who to sign as a coach, right? But... Aside from that, I think it's going pretty smooth right now. So uh, we'll see how, where it leads us. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.